Hello and welcome back to another fabulous review here on my channel. I'm Jacob from Jacob is Here and today we're going to be reviewing the Nifty Knitting Stuff. Now this is an overview and not a live reaction. I want to make sure that's very clear going ahead. I'm going to be overviewing all the things from Kraya Sim to Build and Buy to gameplay. I'm showcasing the things I think are really good, showcasing the things I think need to be improved, and overall what my rating is for this. If you should buy it or if this is a skip. Um, all those things will be answered by the end of this video. And because this video will be somewhat of a longer video, I would say maybe close to 30 to 40 minutes, there will be chapter times linked down below so you guys can jump around from the intro to the outro to the Build and Buy to the cast so whatever you guys want to actually check out. But of course, as you guys can see, it's the Welcome to Sims for Nifty Knitting screen, and we're going to read it real fast. So getting nifty with it. With a yarn basket, everyone from children to elders can pick up their new favorite hobby. Knit clothing for the whole family or decorate the, the knitted plant hangers, rugs, and even toys for kids. Prepare to rock. Plop down in one of the four new rocking chairs, variants to relax, knit, nap, or read a book. Elder Sims also have a new remnants interaction. We call the days of youth gone by and other comfort no matter what you remember. Shop important Plopsies. Shop online with Plopsies, sorry. The more you knit, the more you can earn on Plopsies. The new online crafting marketplace lists or buy everything from socks to sweaters to paintings to woodworking products. For a small fee, you can find the perfect buyer to make the most profit. And that, my friends, is what this pack has entailed. Um, now, I do want to mention before we get started, and I'll mention at the very end as well, um, I did do a giveaway for this. I'm very happy to announce those two winners have accepted and have re you know gotten the rewards. Um, Zeb and uh, Beachy Sims, I'm very happy you guys both won. I'm glad you, you know, I'm, I mean, it was random, but I'm happy you guys won. I'm happy that I could help you guys enjoy yourselves a little bit more today and hope I could be a, more of a help. Um, but also I want to very quickly mention just briefly that there will be a speed build coming up and a cast video coming up over the next two days talking more in depth over nifty knitting and also the family of the crooks and what that means for the crooks. Because this is a family we're going to be moving over into stream with for a little bit um, before we jump back over to our normal Danes. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hop on out of here and we're going to get into create a sim overview let's do it hello and welcome to the create a sim overview we're gonna go through several different items talk about the new aspiration and several things like that um and yeah i do have a variety of different objects and different animals and things like that to go over so farting first starting with oh my god farting oh jacob oh uh, it's two o'clock in the morning this is my second time doing this review bear with me so we have Chris the Crook here, who is our main sim. Like I said, I'll talk about the Crooks in a totally different video coming tomorrow. But Krissa, I did give her the new inspiration, uh, aspiration, which is Lady of Knits. Lady of Knits is the sims has yarn running through her veins and will stop at nothing on her quest to craft the perfect knitable. And we'll go through that aspiration, what each tier is in the gameplay overview. Um, but overall, I really do like this aspiration, and we'll talk more about it in the future. And it does go from Lady of Knits to Lords of Knits, and so it is gender-based. So it's whatever gender your sim is. I do wonder what it means if your sim is transgender, um, and it is still counted as a boy in the sims, but they're transitioning into a girl. Does it turn to Lady of Knits? I don't know, but that's that's a good question, um, generalistically. Now, overall, um, we're going to very briefly talk about each of the items and stuff that come with it. Um, I'm not actually a huge fan of the create a sim, and I'm just going to be very blunt with that. I think they could have done a better job, and we're going to talk about some of the things that I think needs to be worked on in future packs so this doesn't become a major issue for the sims 4. um this hair i think is great especially for grandma and that was kind of the vibe i was getting we also have an, um, a grandpa hair which we'll talk about um but this is the grandma hair and this is one of the sweaters now this particular sweater by the way is a sweater that is um customizable you can unlock it by knitting um you unlock the basic print and then you unlock the further prints as you go along so like this print right here um, is unlocked in game. But interestingly enough, oh my god, I don't know what I just said. Interesting enough, this color swatch disappears from the game. It's not there um, whatsoever. So I do find it very interesting. This is the basic color swatch and it's not even on the board. But this is a color swatch we've already needed because like I said, this is my second time doing this. Then we also have this one, which is not showcased on anybody. So I'm just gonna very quickly showcase it here. Um, there's also a hat that I'm not showcasing, which we'll talk about a little bit later. Some of these items are used in other things. 
These jeans, if I'm not mistaken, are the new jeans, and they also have another version of these jeans. I think they're fine pair of jeans, but we have like 60,000 pairs of jeans in the game, so like, I can't get super duper excited about jeans. Um, and then I'll showcase the boots and stuff in a different look as well. Now, socks and stuff is the only other thing um, which the men have socks on. The women tend to do not. Um, it's these three pairs of socks. We have an ankle sock. We have a kind of like above the ankle sock. And then we have like almost a, like it's like pretty high up. These are all things you have to knit yourself in order to get better skills and stuff. And they do tell you what the required skill is. And if you want to unlock that pattern, you do need to enter all, you have to unlock all the patterns. You have to buy them all and put them in your wardrobe in order to unlock them. It's not just, oh, you get the level two and now they're unlocked. So keep that in mind when choosing. Now, moving on down to the males. Um, the males, like I said, this particular hair right here, I think is extremely, what is it? What's the perfect way to describe the male hairs? I think they're unoriginal and un not an uninspired. They're just like, they're typical male hairs for the Sims. There's nothing new. There's nothing cool about them. It's just typicalness. I also would like to mention that um, we're going to talk about this hair in particular, which I am calling the grandpa hair. Like we have a grandma hair. I'm going to call this the grand grandpa hair as we're seeing hairline. And I mean, obviously this could be any type of hair. It's even for children. I mean, you could put it anywhere, but we're calling it for the grandpa hair just for this particular overview. Um, and, but they also have this version, which is a much more like, it's much more gray in every color since it's gray. You know, it's like if your hair was turning gray, this is where you would transition to. And I personally, I get that. Like if you're, I don't know, can, does it look is it like gray on gray? Oh, very interesting. That's a very interesting one. Oh, wow. The, those ones in the back, um, I don't know. They look like they're doing something kind of, a few of these have some kind of cool ones, but like most of them, I really do like the reversal for this one, the black to white. I think that's cool, but that's like the only one in there that I think is cool. Because I always use this for my grandpa's anyways, where it's the graying kind of throughout the hair, but it's not fully gray because I don't like fully gray hair on Sims very often. I just don't like the way it looks normally. And so I always go with this one. And so I think this hair is what one would say, I wish there was something else in its place. We'll talk about the other hair here in a second. Um, and then overall for clothing wise, they have basically about the same extremities, except for this one. This one is not a knitting one. This is a full-fledged one, um, but these two are knitting ones, and I don't know if we'll talk about this one again. This is the sweater. But once again, I want to mention that these items are unoriginal. They are nothing we have never seen before in The Sims. I do not recommend this pack for the items alone. Please do not buy it for the cast if you do anything. Unless you don't have anything. If you don't have anything for The Sims 4 and knitting sounds amazing to you, go ahead and get it. But if you have generalistically most of the same expansion packs, I'd say most of the expansion packs, you're getting all these items. I promise you. There's nothing original here. And I don't mean to be very harsh about it. I just think the cast is the weakest part of this whole pack, which we'll talk about. All right. For men, they also have the same exact pair of jeans. They just don't have the polka dotty ones. And then the socks are the same. And then they don't have any new shoes like the women do. All right, moving on down here to this other hair. Oh. So let's talk about this hair for a quick second. I am disappointed by this hair because I could name five others. Once again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop talking about it, but they're very unoriginal. The one thing I do want to point out by this hair, though, is the fact that... Oh, that parting is the same as a child. Interesting. Okay. Um, it's the fact it does look much more um, leafy, which is a style that they kind of went away from for a little bit. And now it seems like we're kind of reversing back into it. So I do wonder if that's where we're headed and that's where we're going to stay is any leafier style. I would be very curious to find out in general. Um, for females, this is the other hair and by far the standout. That is why it is going to be on my cast video, this per particular person, because obviously she is gorgeous and everything like generalistically just love Elsa. But, or Eliza, yeah, it's Eliza. But I think this is by far the standout hair. This is the hair that they probably spent the most work on, and they probably did, you know, who knows? I don't know how to texture things, but this is the most unique hair out of the whole pack. I can't wait to get one that has the rings on it where I can change the color of them so they can match outfits and stuff, but overall, I think it's really cute. Um, by the way, this is the only shirt that I didn't like for females. I didn't really particularly enjoy it that much. But moving over into her party wear, um, this is the new knitting outfit. 
um, full body outfit, but you do have to get all these patterns by themselves. I do think this is a pattern that you could unlock, um, but you have to re-unlock it once you get rid of it, so keep that in mind. Um, and then these are the brand new shoes, which I'm also a huge fan of. These are shoes that I really like. I really do hope at some point in this game we get knee high or um, yeah knee high like boots, like really really or no fly high boots. That would be a huge goal to me, um, and I really do hope we explore down that route. But I don't really know. But that's cast for females. Now, if we go into youngers, they don't really have much to offer, so we're going to very gloss over them. This is the hair, and once again, I just want to very quickly say I think it's almost a little bit lazy. Um, I don't mean to be mean, I don't mean to be cruel, but it's just generalistically how I feel. I think it's a little bit lazy to just to downgrade the adult hairs into the younger hairs. This is something that we've been doing for years in the Sims, like custom content, and I understand why they do it it's probably easier to do already a conversion like a conversion of the bigger one to the smaller one but i personally would like new hairs to add to my children that don't match their parents my personal opinion i'd love to know you guys in the comments down below how you guys personally feel about this um with the sweatshirts and stuff i think this is a really cute sweatshirt it also has none of the colors so you do have to unlock it um i don't think they have any new jeans or anything else like that i know uh pretty sure that there is a new dress a faster route oh yeah so this is the new dress for females as well and i think it's also very cute and it's completely open but it's basically the same style just um a different color so yeah that's everything i don't think there's any new shoes uh oh and they also got a pair of those same exact shoes which i do find cute and i actually do think i believe i use in a later on thing all right moving down to toddlers toddlers i think also, once again, have no new hairs, no nothing down there, but they, the significant ones is that female toddlers have a new dress, male toddlers do not have anything full body-wise, um, and then they also overall have a new onesie. Now, the onesie itself, you do have to go through and knit yourself, um, and so keep that in mind when doing patterns and stuff, pick the ones you like, and make sure I'll show you how to put them in your criticism once we get there. Uh, cats don't have anything special here, but they do have a new gameplay object. So we'll talk about that when we get into the gameplay, which um, we're going to move over into build and buy. But very quickly, I want to say this is the weakest cast I've seen in a very long time. And I'm just going to be brutally honest with you. It's not worth it. It is not worth it. It's not worth it. How many times can I say that? Um, and also, once you guys see what we're actually knitting and the actual knitting parts of it, I'm going to tell you that much it's also not worth buying if you're like oh i like the patterns and stuff and sure that's gonna be kind of cool and it's gonna be kind of cool to unlock i just wish in future updates that they'll make that more exclusive or hopefully we'll get more patterns because ultimately i think this whole pack is lacking in several different ways which we'll talk more about as the review goes on um but for Kratos sim she's a lacking and i don't yeah i'd say this is a c minus to a d for me in grade level uh, it's probably a two star for star rating it but i do do a grade level for um since facts and so i'm giving this a c minus to a d i'm not really sure where it lands but it's somewhere in there it was disappointing which jump into the build and buy so this is the house that we're going to be showcasing off the build and buy objects and the gameplay objects in um as you guys can see here we have some rocking chairs and we'll go through all that fun stuff um this house will also have a speed build it is one of my favorite houses it's already up in the gallery for you guys can download this family is also up in the gallery i just want to mention that the family itself has custom content and things so keep that in mind but you guys can totally make this family work i promise you the house itself has no custom content, it just has a lot of packs in it, and I really do enjoy it. Obviously, I would say the biggest objects here that we're going to be talking about um, is, I actually really do like the amount of objects, but I am going to mention it a little bit later on, on why I think it's still lacking and building by is still not as strong as it could be, um, and we'll get into that just here in a second, and we're going to compare it to two other stuff packs as well. I know comparing seems a little bit ridiculous, but I promise you as we continue on, it's going to make a lot more sense. Um, so these are two new objects that you guys are looking at right here. I'll point them out to you so you guys can see. We have the obvious rocking chair, which was disappointing because I don't like the style. I would like a much more rustic rocking chair. And once again, I think this is what we voted for. And I'm really disappointed in everybody who voted for it. Because I know I didn't. I voted for a much more normal rocking chair. Um, but these pod plants, I also very, very much like. I like the other pod plants that you have to knit much more. But I think these are still very cute. And these are all unlockable once you jump in now some right away from other 
things that we can notice. That's inedible, so ignore that. That's not building by object. Um, this right here I use in so many different places in the house because I think it's very versatile and it can be working really nicely. So overall, I think this is a beautiful like little cart thing. So jumping over here, um, we're going to be showcasing some other things. Oh my god, Grandma, move. I'm so sorry, Grandma. So this right here, uh, this right here is a new picturing thing. I actually really enjoy this object. It's actually one of my favorite objects out of the whole stuff pack, um, but I really, really do like it. Then we have this table down here, which I wish was connectable with the desk, which I'm about to show you. They're not connectable. I'm sure if you do bb.moveobjects on, they are, but I think it's disappointing that they don't just connect on their own, as I think it'd be really, really cool and things, and that was kind of what I was hoping for when voting for it. As I did partake in the voting for this, and I just did not expect that to be like that. This right here is a box. Um, this particular box is used for knitting. You do have to be sitting down to knit, I think. I could be wrong. I don't think you can stand in it. Maybe you can. I know you can't be sitting next, a, next to a desk, but it does also have to be your inventory in order to knit. And then see here this box, or there's another one um, that's like a uh, like little... Hold on. It's in your inventory. Come here, Grandma. Come here, Grandma. Okay. Uh, this one right here is the other one. And they all come in different color swatches and things. I'm just showing you the objects in general. Um, either one of these two have to be in your inventory in order for your sim to do some knitting. So coming over here is the next set of objects, um, which we're going to be talking about. So we have the initial desk, which I also very much enjoy. I think this is actually one of my new favorite desks. I always like it when they have a lot of different cool things on it. Also, it's not just for knitting, as you guys can see here. There's a lot of yarn and things in it. But overall, I think these are very versatile objects for any type of room that you're trying to experiment with. And so I really like that. Um, and the plants, the hanging plants, like I said, I've already talked about, I very much do enjoy. Um, this right here, everything but the cameras you guys can see that are scattered throughout this, everything else is from this pack. And I do like how it's much more focused on painting, as I think painting and knitting go very well hand in hand. And overall, I very much enjoyed the fact that um, it showcases that. There's another object, which we're going to move over to into the bedroom, which also showcases painting, and I think also does a very well job. Um, we'll come back out here. No, well, I guess we'll talk about it right now. So the whole house is a modern grandparents' house. That is the vibe. That is the style I went for. And it's particularly because of these this couch um, wear. So this right here, this love seat, which by the way, we do not have a full couch. I know it's going to make a lot of you guys mad. It made me mad too. Um, but we have a love seat and we have a chair and we also have a buffet, which you can knit, which we'll talk about. Um, so the love seat itself, I actually do like. Um, it's nice. It can sit. It can fit too. And then I also like the adjoining chair, but these were made specific. This whole house was made around these two items. Um, not because I love these items very much. It's just in general. It's just how I did it. Um, and then this door right here is the only type of outside um, equipment that we got. And I put it inside. And I think this is much more for like if you have a garden, um, an indoor garden or something. This is the door you would put on it where you would be knitting and you would be doing your gardening and you would be doing you know, your flower arranging and stuff like that. That's why I'm pretty sure it's mostly is what it's looked at. So other things in here, this is an actual functional desk. I also do enjoy this desk. I like the other desk better just because it's not so much like room heavy, but this is a fine desk as well. This is a, um, a storage thing. I don't really know where you would put this unless you're building a direct knitting room. Um, it's the only thing I could really use to think of for this. But either way, another object over here that is from Build and Buy is this object right here, which I also very much like, and I think it's very enjoyable. This object, which uh, turned out to be much more of a problem, it's quite big. It's um, I don't, it's just quite big. I had to size it down quite a bit in order to make it work in this build at all. And overall, this is mostly made for a craft room. A lot of these objects are made for just a general crafting room. But um, I do like it, though. I enjoy it. It's not my favorite one that we could choose from, but I do enjoy it. This over here, like I said, I don't really understand the use of it. It's just much more of a decor, ob a, a decor object. Also with this decor object, we also have this right here, which I don't understand the point of either. It's supposed to bring into crocheting, which is another form of knitting. It's a, I think it's a more complicated form of knitting, if I'm not mistaken. But the object itself is useless, and there is no interaction at all with your sim. And so basically, it's just there for fun i'm not really sure but yeah okay and then i also want to very quickly showcase um oh right. 
So ignore, we'll do this one because the grim's up there. So this object also came with the pack. It's just a nice little shelving, nothing too spectacular, but I did want to showcase it. And then going up above into the upstairs, um, this is the other rocking chair where it has no handles. And then there's also one with a seat cushion when without the seat cushion. Different colors. Um, the colors do reflect the color of wood you choose. So just keep that in mind. Okay. Um, overall for build and buy in general. Overall for build and buy, I would say I'd give this much more of a B. Um, I really liked all these objects, but we're going to talk about the biggest issue. You know what? We can go ahead and jump into it. And that's the fact that these objects are lacking. It's not the fact that the objects themselves are not really well done, because they are. And I would love to know the reason why this pack feels so much smaller. These pack, This pack, in reality, feels much more like a beginner's pack to the Sims 4, not a we've been doing this for five years pack. Um, and I mean that in the simple way of sizing. Um... I'm going to show you a few other packs in general and based off. Now, this is a sub pack. It's supposed to be smaller than um, a game pack and a, an expansion pack for obvious reasons. And I get that and I understand that. But I've been watching a few other people who have talked about sub packs in general and how we've been getting much better and much better and bigger sub packs with the same amount of work they put into the um, gameplay objects and stuff. And I'm not sure if Flopsy is the reason why we were so cut low by the way we're going to use laundry day and tiny living to showcase so laundry day here has three oh no four and a half lines now some of these are copy lines some of these have duplicates whatever it might be but there's four and a half lines worth of objects here tiny living which just came out this past january no um it was before Eco Lifestyle. It just came out here recently. I couldn't tell you when. This whole world, this whole year, just a mess. But this has three and a half lines. Now it varies between each pack, depending on what it is. But Tiny Living, I think, is a great example here because it was very heavy based in um, new ways to do things. I mean, coming down to direct gameplay. This was a very heavy gameplay object, but we got a lot of objects to adorn for that. This is actually probably one of my favorite stuff hacks I would highly recommend if you're just thinking of purchasing things on a sale. But Nifty Knitting has only two pack, like two lines and like one extra item. That, my friend, is extremely disappointing and we're going to get into all the knitting stuff and it's really, really cool and I really do like a lot of the knitting stuff and that's probably the reason why they're not here and I get that, but I also don't think there's that much more knitting stuff um, in general. Now, we didn't really do this for cast items, but I do think cast items are lacking as well. I think, generally speaking, this is a, just a very extremely small pack and it's up to you if an, an object or a gameplay item is worth your, your buck. You know, there's, there's enough there. Um, I'm still not really sure, but I spent $30 on it, so who knows? All right, now let's jump into the gameplay. Uh, the gameplay is probably the best part of this, obviously. Um, I really do like the build and buy objects. You couldn't build a house around it. Not that I was expecting to. So there's a few different gameplay objects I really want to showcase right away. That is Plopsy, which you can find on your phone or your computer. Um, there is actual knitting because that's important. We're actually going to showcase several different knitting objects, what knitting looks like in general, and then, of course, rocking chairs. Now, I think we might just show rocking chairs with elders um, so they can do the reminiscing, but toddlers can also ride in rocking chairs, and it is cute. A little special little object as well, the knit ball can be used as a fun little toy for your kitten or your cat. Um, I don't know if kittens can play with it, don't hold me to that, but your cat can play with it. I find that to be very cool and things like that. So let's showcase Plopsy real fast. Um, I'll go over here to Jason Cook and Plopsy, like I said, can be found in two ways. So we have the first way, which is this, where it's just like a normal ordering type of thing. And I'm pretty sure this changes by day. So like the things, same things on here today could be completely different tomorrow. So it's something you can constantly keep checking. Um, but for instance, like the red man sweater with gray, we don't have that one. The short hanger free plants, we'll buy that. Um, they have candles, and this is obviously also going to be based on what packs you have. Like the insect repellent, you're not going to be able to get if um, you don't have the right pack. The candles are from Eco Lifestyle. I'm not going to go through each thing here in particular, 
but you guys can have there's a whole range of things that you guys can see already so we're gonna go ahead and buy these objects and they all came out fine I did buy an object which is on reselling you can resell them once you buy them um, that the person did lie to me that object is no longer being on sale but yeah so just to showcase this is the fly repellent um, which obviously it's all based on different things but this is really cute this is the other one which I didn't get to see which I was thinking about maybe having her her knit for us today but I think it to be really cute and then for the t-shirt just to very quickly showcase it uh, this house already has this item available in Crayston. So this is not an object that you need to worry about, but that's how you do it. You add to, um, you add it to wardrobe, or you can even gift it to somebody in case you're like, oh my god, this will look so cute on you. Let me gift it to you so you can add it to your wardrobe. You can also list it on Plopsy for $10. Now, um, this variates the pricing. I've not seen an item sold yet, so I'm not entirely sure how that works particularly. But um, I can show you what it looks like when it's on Plopsy, so you have an idea. Or you can even donate it to charity, which is a really just generally a cool thing you can do. And I really do like it, and it was a nice surprise. Um, when you do sell things on Plopsy, this is kind of what it looks like. Um, your selling price has no offers yet. Your expiration time is Thursday, and your buyers have no buyers yet. I also don't know how you put a seller's price on it. And in general, I think that whole part of this pack is extremely confusing but i'm really excited to figure it out since i'm not entirely sure now once again you can also find plopsy on your computer by under the home and you can browse plopsy just like we did um by your phone by the computer okay so that's all plopsy stuff how about we bring her out and we can have her we'll go ahead and reminisce and then i'll show you guys what reminiscing looks like then we'll also show you what knitting looks like and then also shows you what the rocking chair looks like. So she's going to take a sit. Uh, she's going to take a seat down. And just like that, um, she is sitting here and she's reminiscing. And the reminiscing pops up um, like this, where they'll think about happy things. They'll think about sad things. Um, and depending on what they think about and that type of thing will depend on their mood wits and things. I really like this. Um, there's a few things here that kind of possibly could be tell you what's coming up and I would love to know your guys' theories down below. One of my theories is I do believe we're getting a snowpack, a dedicated vacation world um, that has something to do with snowy objects. I just think it's it's perfect and I really, really look forward to it. But yeah, that's reminiscing. Then also, we're going to talk about babies here in a minute because we're going to flip over to knitting. Now, uh, so knitting clothing, we have several different categories and we're going to look through each one of these. I'm going to showcase some of the items in general and then we're also going to see what knitting looks like and then i'm going to give you my final wrap-ups so we're going to go through each of these so you guys can see what all they have this particular sim has a level 10 and so everything is unlocked but as you guys can see in the number ranking as well it tells you what number that is so the very particular one that makes me very intrigued that i have to watch a few videos on to actually figure out what it means but as knit baby onesies now i don't know if this is just something you can donate in or sell or if it actually does go on to your baby we don't have a baby and I particularly have a gay couple here, um, and so I can't even physically wear it unless we adopt a baby. And we don't have room for that since we have a little kitty cat. But these are what they look like. They're nowhere in cast at whatsoever. But I wonder what it means. I wonder if this is a great sign to move forward. It is a high skill. And so a lot of people who are generalistically not just cheating the skill like I did might have a hard time finding it if they're not looking at reviews and stuff and so what is your guys opinions on this as i generally want to know so continuing on though there's obviously a lot of categories here and so we have a lot of things to go through so there's also beanies this is the other object i did not showcase as i am not a huge fan of this beanie i have met a few people on twitter who do really like this beanie and it's a highlight for them um there is one addition that's already unlockable i'm pretty sure it's the pink bear beanie um but I don't think it's a level 10 worthy beanie is a thing. Um, and yet they're going to try to tell you it is. Even though I just don't believe that's the beat of truth. Uh, then we also have socks. And once again, these are the same exact socks you have already seen. And that goes for all the clothing items. And so we're going to go over into objects. Where I think the game starts to expand. And personally, I think the pack itself becomes better. So, child, child toys. So we have blue bears, which they can play with, um, which I'll showcase a little bit 
with the Grimm, because we already needed a Grimm, and Grimms are cute, and I can't, I just, I love it so much. They're adorable. Truly adorable. Um, Decoration-wise, there's a blue octopus, uh, there's pink and tur there's turtles, penguins, um, oh gosh, cactuses, a llama, which I also find to be very cute. And so all this stuff I find to be very cute. I'm sure all of it is in build buy mode. I do want to mention if you do buy, you knit one of these objects and you want to, um, what is that, copy and replace, like copy it to a different, like make a, a double of that, you actually have to knit it which makes sense, but also, like, I was wishing I could knit it, and then, or, I don't even know how to describe that, I'll just show you. Uh, hanging plant holders, we've seen a few of these, so we have the teal one, we have that one, and honestly, I think these are the cutest things out of the whole pack. I was freaking out about when I first saw it, and I was like, oh my gosh, and they're really low, and so you can definitely knit those very early on, which I also very much like. Mailbox cozies are new mailboxes. The poofs, which I can show you, we did a white and gray poof for our living room. And then we also have the rug, which is right there in our object as we speak. And once again, and now I also want to mention that's probably like five or six objects right there that are away from that catalog. But that would still make the catalog extremely small, equaling this pack to feel small. Um, and this very lively thing, not so much. This is what the poof looks like. This is what the rug looks like. Um, that's what the Grim Reaper looks like. And we've even got a few extra ones. Now, I'm going to go find the little kitty cat. I don't know. Oh, yeah. So you guys can see the last little bit. Oh, you guys also probably want to see um, what it looks like when she actually knits something. I'm sorry. I didn't think about that. The green baby onesie, for sure. And honestly, I'm actually kind of curious to see what it looks like knitting in the chair. Then that's not something I've actually seen before. So that's really exciting. So we're, we're going to experience that. Oh my gosh, the aspiration. Very happy. All right, so this is what it looks like for when they knit in the chair. Uh, and basically when they knit, um, their knitting thing just gets longer and longer over the progression of time, as you guys are seeing. And overall, I think it's fine. It's a fine animation and it does what it needs to do. But once again, I would describe that as this whole pack. It does what it needs to do. And I just wish they would have, I wish it would have been a little more bolder um, and things like that. Okay, so there it is. It's really cute. I like the fact that they added an interaction with it. It is yarn. It's something that would have totally happened in real life. And so it was a nice little treat, I would say, because it was a very surprising treat when um, searching through the catalog. It might not even be something you even know. Um, like in Rounds of Magic, there's somebody who haunts you, which I had no idea existed until a little bit earlier today. Oh, the aspiration. That's the last thing we need to talk about. And we'll go in here. So there's four different layers, just like a normal aspiration is. And it's divided up and stuff. I think this is a pretty easy aspiration probably to complete. There's a few things in here that seems like it could be complicated. Also, I'm really excited to see early versions, like somebody who's not level 10 for knitting. Um, just for the simple fact that um i think they could fail and I, I think that's gonna be really cute just like the pumpkins can fail and things like that i think it's really cute and i also really do enjoy the skill but with that being said let's go ahead and let's talk this game so the build and the creosim i gave a probably a d the build and buy objects got a solid b the gameplay objects i'm gonna give also a b rounding out to I would say this pack is an average of a C. And I think that really works for this pack because it's 75% if you look at it from a percentile to a three star if you're looking from a star rating. And that just means it's average. It's not doing anything horrible, but it's not bringing anything new. Um, the knitting pack itself, this reminds me a lot of bowling, um, whereas bowling was extremely focused on one thing. Yeah, I still thought bowling brought more to the table. This is just a really lackluster pack. It really reminds me the beginning days of like spooky time and luxury party stuff and i really hate saying that because those are packs that were very influential going forward but they were still beginner packs this feels like something that would have came out within the first two years of the sims not five to six years in and i really think that's something that needs to be talked about because do i recommend this i don't really know if i do or not i think it's an okay pack i don't think it's gonna be on my top 10 list it's definitely not my favorite stuff pack and I don't see it being a favorite stuff pack going forward. I see myself using it 
I would see myself grabbing a few items here or there, but nothing super duper extreme, and overall was extremely disappointed with it. And that's my review, is that I'm disappointed. Just, I think this would be a much better, this feels like something that would be in an expansion pack for, like, for generations. And it's kind of like, okay, done there, like it's a new gameplay object, and it's really cool because you can knit things, but it's not the most explored thing, and that's okay because it's an expansion pack. But, because this is a stuff pack, I expect it to be completely explored, such as like Bowling Day. I think Bowling Day is extremely explored. I think um, Machinimo, which had a duo of photography, was extremely explored. Tiny Living was extremely explored. I expect this for my stuff packs. I don't expect it to be half-assed thrown together and given to me because I wanted it. I helped build it, and I know a lot of objects that we chose did not open up. I really do believe this is going to be the first one of the bigger disappointing packs you know, yeah. It's not the worst one, but it's definitely not the best one. It's an average pack. And for Popsy, I think it's worth it. Um, for rocking chairs, I don't think it's worth it. For knitting, I think it could be worth it. If that's something you're truly passionate about and you really want your sims to do it, go right ahead. Bone by objects, I think, are strong. Cast items, I just, I'm just like, wow. So, but that being said, though, we also have knitting stuff coming up. Um, because we have a whole Crayson video coming up, and then we also have a house build coming up for the rest of the week. I also want to know if you guys want me to tell you guys my thoughts and opinions on some Sparked, as that's something I would like to cover. I think I might cover it when it's over and do a full review of the TV show, if that's something you guys are interested in, let me know in the comments down below. But what do you guys like about this pack? Did you guys enjoy it? Did you guys hate it? I would love to know in the comments down below. Are we indifferent, or are we the same? Let me know. Alright, I'll talk to you guys all tomorrow with another video. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.